Look at this warehouse full of shoes, y'all. Over $5 million worth of stolen shoes, okay? <laughs> Listen, if you were in the area and you were looking for your hookup of Yeezys and Nikes and Uggs and Adidas, Bookie Book, they are gone. Now, they've been stealing them off of freight trains and selling them to local retail stores. They would bring the retail owners to the warehouse and the retail owners would purchase them. The retail owners said, we didn't know they were stolen. Uh, bull, yeah, I kind of knew it wasn't legal. You wasn't buying from Adidas. <laughs> the inventory closet of your neighborhood sneaker shop. Towers and towers of Nikes and Adidas boxes, some limited editions, others hard to find, and all of it stolen. This warehouse in Austin, now the site of an investigation where law enforcement officials say a group of thieves used it as a home base to push stolen merchandise received through a series of railroad cargo thefts across the country. Oh, whether it be Nike products or Ugg products, Adidas, uh, Supreme, uh, a lot of massive uh, amounts of property, probably close to $5 million in merchandise minimum. The massive bust, the result of an investigation by the Lyons Police Department after a cargo theft was reported in the village about a week ago, leading investigators to the warehouse where a search warrant was issued and the mother load of theft rings uncovered. Wow, these, were, these are not even out yet. The site was already on the radar of multiple railroad companies and the state attorney general's office as rail cargo thefts have surged nationwide, becoming costly for companies. What they would do is they commit these cartridge thefts in Memphis, Tennessee. They'd relabel it and they would ship it here. They would unpackage it, repackage it, and it's 100% markup, right? Because you got them all for nothing. In this particular case, the thieves would advertise on social media or by word of mouth, where retailers would go to the warehouse to purchase goods, not knowing they were stolen. So far, two people have been charged as a result of the weekend bust, where several others are being investigated. These are individuals who are working together for a common cause, which is uh, money. The Lions Police Department is expected to hold a press conference later this week where they're expected to provide more details on this case, including information on those offenders and additional charges they may face. Reporting in the Austin neighborhood, I'm Andrew Ramos.